right guys, so let's try out a 2019 37 foot Dutch Star, 450 horsepower, full air ride, full airbags, side radiator, the best of the best with comfort drive. Let's try it out. Alright, so now we're in a new Mar, which on their diesel pusher line have comfort drive. Best way to explain it, like if you're in a parking lot situation, just use your pinky finger to turn, like there's no effort at all. And when we get on the highway, it will compensate for the side winds. Um, it, 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 I hate to say, you gotta kind of dry it compared to your last coach. It is night and day. But same thing, uh, so we're in a basically 38 feet overall. Now with full airbag suspension, with the independent suspension in the front, so when one side of a pothole hits one tire, it doesn't affect the other. And it's the same idea. If your mirrors are going through, you're getting through. You saw in the beginning of the video, we're in a tight, tight space. Uh, when you go independent suspension, your turning radius even gets sharper. So uh, they turn, I hate to say on a dime, but they do. So your pluses on a diesel pusher, you don't hear any noise on the engine. We'll see about the better ride, because we're gonna try it right now. And there is no effort to turn the wheel. All right, so we're just getting out of the store now. So on this diesel pusher, of course, we have the power shades, essentials of life to keep the sun out. <coughs> and of course, on this one, this has power blinds throughout the whole coach, so you can let light in or take light out. It's a push of a button. It's pretty fantastic. <coughs> we are in a Dutch Star, so you are in full heated floors. You're basically dishwasher, washer dryer, everything your home has. Just finish nicer, probably. It's nicer in my house. So now with 450 horsepower on tap, here we are floored. Makes no noise. It's eerily quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. So now the big thing with the diesel pusher, when you go, there are stages of diesel pushers. This one is a three stage jake brake or engine brake. So I can literally flick this switch, tap the brake, and it, now I'm not touching the brake and it still slows you down. So the braking is a big improvement over a gas. However, <coughs> if you're in a coach just has on and off, it won't be as aggressive as it is on this. So you know it, it there is certain stages that's why you see a uh, one diesel will be you know 250 and one will be 900 there's a lot of differences and absolutely happy to explain it to you but here is a very nice coach you don't have to go crazy with the money it's just lovely <clears throat> so i'm going to take a sharp right hander again Big thing when you go all air ride suspension, you don't get that body lean. And if you want to go as fast as traffic, you can, it's absolutely easy. So we'll go in the fast lane because we can. So once you start getting to motorhomes with 450, 500, 600 horsepower, as you can notice, we can kind of squirt through traffic like a car. 
it, uh, it, 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 once you get used to driving it, it is quite easy. There's no swaying, there's no lean. Um, you know, I hate to say sports car, but uh, in the motorhome world, it is. So we'll uh, continue on once we hit that hill, we'll see the difference. So as you see, we're in downtown Langley or any downtown with traffic. It's actually very easy. It's not intimidating. My mirrors, I can see where every car is. I see back behind me. I have my RV navigation, so it'll let me know if I'm too high for any underpass. Uh, just when you go into this sort of power coach, you can pass traffic, keep up with traffic. You don't hear any engine sound. The braking is fabulous. It'll start, stop way better than, uh, well, even a little C-Class will. They stop amazingly. So here we are on that hill. Uh, so I'll just floor it here. No noise. So there's 70. And I can really whisper up the hills. Mm -hmm. So see, we're slowing down to 60. And it's good to know. Let's say you bought a motorhome, just expect if it says 340 horsepower and it's a 35 or 36 foot motorhome you'd slow down significantly from that. It's, it's odd to say, but a gas 34 foot coach is actually faster than a 340 horse. Uh, just the 340 be quieter. That's, that'd be the big thing. Cause you are lugging around a lot more weight. The stopping is easy peasy. My uh, engine braking is actually assisting me quite a bit on that. I'm barely touching the brakes. Then I start to push harder on when I stop. Now in British Columbia, you do need an air ticket to own one of these. It is a two day course. It's uh, if you fail it, you can do it over and over and over again. There is no driving test. Unlike uh, if you're doing a fifth wheel over 10,000 pounds, you need to do a driving test. So uh, it's basically common sense. There is a class to learn about air brakes. Uh, a coach like this does not have slack or slack adjusters where you go underneath and adjust anything. It's all automatic. So there's really not much to do. And as you see, there's, there's, there's no stress in this. So next time I see you, we'll be on the highway merging on and we'll see the difference. All right. So we're doing the, uh, we're in Langley merging on the highway one East off of 200th, which is a sl slight right hander. Then you got to kind of floor it going up a hill to merge into traffic. So let's see how it does. So, uh, as I said, like with the air ride, it will not lean as bad as a, a normal motorhome will. Um, but we'll see what happens here. Another thing to note, if you're buying a brand new diesel, um, they're programmed in the engine not to give you full boost until it breaks in at about 10 to 15,000 miles. So expect to be, depending on how much you drive it, maybe next year, maybe in two months, depends on what you do. Uh, you're going to notice a, a big jump in power right around 10,000 miles to so 12 to 15,000 kilometers. So uh, they do that just to protect the engine as it's breaking in because this is a commercial truck and normally 10,000 miles we put on in the first six, seven days. So the maintenance on these isn't crazy. It's once a year, 20,000 miles. It depends on the mo motor you get, but that's a good kind of baseline. And it costs, you know, four or $500 for an oil change and you're good for the, for the year. Since traffic, traffic now is backed up, we can't do a highway run today. So the nice thing about a, a nice motor like this, traffic's bad. Well, let's just pull off and you just park somewhere and have lunch, have a nap, relax, wake up, refreshed and traffic's gone. So while we're here, here's a cul-de-sac. When you go to this independent suspension, comfort drive, Newmar, look how tight this thing turns around. So we'll just do a, a loop-de-loop -loop now. I'll turn it all the way. Isn't that incredible, guys? This is a 38-foot motorhome. Uh, my pickup truck does not turn as tight as this. That's a fact. But you get the idea. At 100 to 120 kilometers an hour, this thing's silent, stable. The comfort drive adjusts the steering anytime a side wind hits. So it's a little weird at first because you feel the steering wheel move. Uh, just let it do it. Here it is, real tight turning. Not a problem. 
So this was mine. I would have been on the side of the road, put some video games on, have a nap, and relax. Don't deal with this. That's the point of having one of these. All right, so uh, the fast I go on this road is I'm going 80 now, and it's quiet. It's lovely. There's no steering. It's easy. But we are going to go down a 9% grade, so I'm going to use the engine brake along with my air brakes to go down this hill. Green to me. So your big benefit is you can let the engine really do the work. And of course you can't hear the engine do anything because it's in the back. But uh, essentially I'm barely touching the brakes going down a 9% grade. I don't have any fear of uh, it running away from me. So everyone's stopped in the middle of a 9% grade. I'm still calm. I know it can stop on a dime if I want it to. And I'll just switch lanes. But yeah, it's, it's just not an issue. So thank you for watching. Now you know. It's easy. There is no issues. Stop worrying about it. Do it. I'm not stressing at all. This is easy. Back at the dealership. World's worst campground scenario, which would be uh, no room anywhere. That's our lot. So if I can get in through here, anybody can. So another nice benefit of a diesel pusher would be... Oh, they already opened it. I was going to use the air horn, but let's not uh, scare people. It gets really loud. So in really tight driving situations like this, just as I keep saying, if your mirrors are going through, you're going through. The bottom part of that mirror, I can see all the blind spots. And with the storage doors open on the other side, you just go out a little bit, then cut, and you're fine. Well, it sounds like when someone wants to buy one, better act fast. And same thing, you just use the outer corner, use the bottom mirror, you can see everything, and that's it. Nice of the comfort drive, there is no effort with the steering. And as you notice, the steering automatically goes to center on comfort drive, which is really neat. All right, so we're 38 feet long. We're gonna go in a really tight campground situation or just me every day on this lot. We have lots of stock. Lots, probably the best. Here we go. Cameras, ears, use an air horn, get people out of the way. That's it. And it's the same model backing this up to a 20 foot back end. Bus next to me here, then I turn. And he's turned so sharp, I can adjust the pitch real easy. I go like this. And we're going in. Nothing to it. Stop worrying. A couple tries in a parking lot and you'll be a professional like me. And I am not a professional. This is just easy to do. There we are. We're parked. Put the auto level on. Get camping. Thanks guys for watching.